Corn Alley Bow. Yeah. All right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of the marquee matchups for Saturday. Saginaw Valley uh, versus Western Kentucky University. I'm here joined in, my, in the booth by my partner in crime, Jonathan Shaw from Towson University. How you doing, Jonathan? Hey, dude, I'm great. How you doing today, Josh? Doing really good, doing really good. Good, man. Um, uh, so one from I'm noticing early, Saginaw has decided to uh, create what JMU does. They have two blockers on each corner, and then they have their two or three uh, primary throw-ins right behind. And it can be a very effective or a, a terrible strategy. Uh, we'll have to see how it plays out for them. Well, the Michigan teams are kind of famous for that corner defense formation. Absolutely. And, uh, and they, Ohio has a very different name for that formation. What is that? What is that for? We call it the vagina formation. Because <laughs> you have the two ovaries in the corner, then you have the cluster of people in the middle. It looks like two ovaries in a uterus. That, there you go. She will provide the X-rated commentary, <laughs> ladies Thank and you. gentlemen. Thank you. Touche, touche. So, um, right out the gate here, um, Western has been whittled down pretty quickly. Very uh, quickly. Yeah. I think to only 10 or 11 are early on. Uh, Saginaw's got to be pretty pumped up for this game since absolutely. Western uh, beat them, actually. At, I think it was the JMU. It was JMU. Um, JMU. I was at that tournament and watched the overtime match, and I have never seen two teams uh, more fired up at individual uh, points. Western, they just, they wanted it, man. They wanted it so badly. Uh, it was a great comeback to force overtime. And uh, it was the quick elimination of Jardine um, in overtime that I believe was the X factor for Double KU. So, like you said, Saginaw definitely comes in with uh, wanting, wanting that revenge. Okay, well, that was Western's first win over a Michigan team. So yeah, it was huge. That, big for that program. Yeah, they, they were fired up, you know. Uh, but right here, it just looks like two players eliminated from uh, Saginaw, number 20, 61. Uh, it's so hard for their, their numbers. I know. I can't 61. And, uh, I think it's 81. 81 and 22, I believe, got eliminated for Saginaw Valley. Yeah. Uh, but they have been, at this point, relatively dominant and great. Thank you. I just got offered a McDonald's fry, and you never say no to McDonald's no, fries. No, you didn't. Thank you, Leslie. But... Western a little bit scattered here, but what uh, made them so effective in that Ohio State game was their communication. But the big difference we're going to see here is Sag Valley, a little more organized and a little bit better arms. So that's going to really challenge that new uh, communication and teamwork that Western's built up. It's an absolutely great point, Josh. So one thing I'm noticing uh, with Saginaw is that they are they are pushing one or two balls at a time, and they are backpedaling back. As soon as WKU comes up and growing, they are on the transition game, trying to get that kill. Uh, and so far, it's working for them. Well, what really good teams do very well is they're almost uh, unconsciously aware of their ball advantage, and they will maintain that throughout the game. So even though it may not be something they talk about, you don't see him making a lot of throws. Um, right there, uh, Tanner Boatwright going out for Western. As well as uh, number 14, uh, I believe his name is Chase. My only question is I thought that Jardine graduated. Oh, oh my what a God! Catch. And a very personal decision by uh, number double zero there. Um, shot clock was going down, and instead of waiting uh, for that shot clock to go up and have all 10 balls, he decided to go alone. And a very clutch catch by number one. Yeah, Andrew um, Dockery has been making yeah. some really clutch catches all that day. That is a huge catch. It was a catch with a shot clock violation, so we get Nick Johnson, number 19, back in, but yep. this point will probably be over pretty quick. And that would be game that is point number one in the book, and uh, with uh, 20.46 left in the first half, it is Saginaw Valley 1, WKU 0.